Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is day 128 of playing chess every day until 2000 and I am at 1937, my highest peak ever. And we're gonna play d4. Okay, England Gambit. We take it. Hopefully we don't see knight here, knight here, and queen. Oh, okay, a difference. Uh, d6. Now we can choose to defend the pawn. We can choose to get the bishop out, and we can take. Now, if we take here, we'll definitely take with the bishop trying to go for that very, very dumb kind of sacrifice to win the queen, which doesn't actually work ever, but uh, I'm just going to start with a developing move, and then we're going to take later. Okay, so he's attacking it twice. I believe we can play uh, the move e4 because if he actually takes with the knight, I can just take him and after takes, I take the queen and after the king takes, uh, the pawn is a little bit weak, his king is not safe and I will develop my bishop with the tempo on the pawn and castle king side. So we have the move e4, we can take and allow him to take with the bishop and we will be just up a pawn, but after pawn takes, bishop takes and a move like... Uh, Knight here, knight here. Hmm. I want to take because I want to be up a pawn, but I guess the move is e4. e4, uh, knight takes, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, and after king takes, so we play bishop uh, to c4, attack the pawn. And if takes with the knight, is the exact same thing, so I believe we can play the move e4 for now. Take control of the center and not allow any knight, in, you know, any bishop in. And e4 actually stops bishop here because the knight is defended. I believe I'm gonna play the move e4. I guess that is the that's the the theory here. He still plays it, which I don't think that is the best thing to do. <clears throat> I can play bishop to e2 and I can play bishop to b5. Bishop to b5 is better because. Now he actually threatening to take here and after takes. I think bishop to e2, bishop takes this, or we just take this pawn. I believe we just take this pawn. Because after this, this, here, we just drop back and everything will be fine. Because you definitely don't want to go here and after takes, takes, he will take the pawn and he equalized. So after pawn takes, bishop takes, then we play bishop to e2. Uh, he plays some kind of a check. I play bishop to d2. He takes and I take. Everything's fine. And after bishop to sorry, after takes and bishop takes and bishop to e2, there will be a move like this. But I believe we just castle. Yeah, we take. <clears throat> we take here. We're just making sure he will take with the bishop, because that would be very dumb to take with the queen. And yes. And now bishop to e2 seems very reasonable. Just defending the knight. And also unpinning my queen, and we get the bishop on d2, knight to c3, and uh, you know, the game continues. That's why I'm wasting uh, more time because it's very important not to blunder here. Very important. Okay, so he's just aiming at the pawn. Uh, we can play a move like knight to d2. Offering the trade of bishops, and he will take, and this pawn is a bit protected, and I can cancel. So knight d2 could be a move. I believe I'm going to play knight d2, surprise him with that move, defending this pawn, and also attacking the bishop. I guess most of the, most of the time they see knight c3 on knight d2, but I'm not going to play what they see. I want to take him off guard, and after he takes, I take with the queen, this pawn is defended twice, and then I can play knight c3, and you know... What the? What is that? H5? Are you sure? Is that? It's called the Hartlaub Charlick Gambit. Bishop takes, pawn takes, and queen takes. He cannot castle queen side. That I know that's a first. He's gonna play knight here, but then I can take those pawn. He can attack my queen. So hold on. Bishop takes, pawn takes, and after queen takes on g4, knight to f6, queen takes uh, g7, rook here. And I believe we just, that's uh, too risky to take those pawns. So takes, takes, and queen takes, and knight here. Uh, I believe uh, we can just uh, draw back to f3. 
But no, that will be very annoying because of the night. Hmm. So how about bishop takes, pawn takes, and queen takes, and knight to f6. Um, and we play queen. Huh. So after takes, takes, and takes, there will be this pawn hanging. How about just... I need to do something. Knight to c3 and pawn here and bishop here trying to castle queenside after I take this pawn. I believe knight here would be still considered fine. Let's go knight to c3. Don't give him what he wants. He wants you to take him so that he can develop his knight and get more control of the board. You don't do that. I want to play b3, bishop to b2, and then I want to take and have to take stakes. Any attack on my queen, I can just move back and I can just castle queenside and I'm up two pawns instead of one. This kind of openings, this kind of gambit openings relies on you going for the bait, going for the second pawn, going for some, uh, you know, just free pawns and thinking that's going to be, you know, fine for you, but it's not. Uh, this move is just a developing move, nothing wrong with that. Uh, we can take it, but then the knight will take and the knight is very strong. Of course, we can kick it like this, but no need for now. We can play a move like b3 and bishop to b2. I don't see a reason not to. And this pawn is protected by the queen. I'm gonna play this. And then we might take, and after knight takes, we get the queen on e2 and castle queenside. And we would have an active rook, and we would have a game. I can also play knight to d5. I did not think about that. Because if knight takes, pawn takes, I can defend it with a move like c4. Like c4. Yeah. That could be a move. And also trying to open up for the bishop. So yeah, I believe knight to d5 could be a move. But we will see. Fuck this internet connection. Sorry about cursing. It just like... Please, please reconnect. Come on, you piece of garbage. Reconnect. Come on. I won't fucking lose the internet. It is connected, bro. Man, fuck this. Okay, thank God. He just castled the queen side. Playing a move like this is very bad because you can just take anything. Uh, taking here. I want to play this move to remove this knight so that I can take this player, this bishop with a check. After knight here, knight takes on pawn takes. Uh, there's no attack on my queen whatsoever. And also, but after this move, there will be like a bishop like, like after this, 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 and bishop here. Hmm. I can just move and then castle here. I believe that's the. But after this move, okay, uh, it takes and takes. After this move, he can move the queen, but I will definitely take the knight. So let's just go here. He can take me here, but that's a blunder because of a check first. And if he takes me, I can just take. Oh, that's a little bit of some trouble here. Oh, 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 oh I messed up. After knight takes, we have to take this with a check first, but then the, this will be pinned. Oh, shit. After knight takes, pawn takes, there will be bishop takes. After queen takes, queen takes, king takes, uh, there will be a check. Oh, my goodness. Why? I did not think. Bro, that was a mistake. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, king takes, knight here, and king to d1. <sighs> I was supposed to castle. And after knight takes, I can now go bishop takes g4. I believe, uh, maybe I can. And if takes, I can just take with the queen with a check and then castle. But that's a lot of pressure on me, so I will never castle this way. Uh, after knight takes... And bishop takes and pawn takes and queen takes with a check and the king moves. Then we have to play uh, bishop to b2 and try to cancel queen side. I think I have time. But a blunder is to take the pawn, uh, to take after knight takes. We don't take the pawn, 
because after bishop takes uh, and queen takes and queen takes and king takes, there might be some checks and there might be this knight move. Uh, so it's really, my king will be in the center. So after knight takes, check, takes, check, king, and then we play bishop here, stopping any knights from getting in. But there will be knight back to f6, attacking my queen and the pawn, but I just draw back to f3. Uh, then we will lose this pawn here. Yeah, we definitely... I, mean, I really hate to get distracted by the internet sometimes. I just want to be 100% focused, but it is really annoying. Hate it. What is that? I have no clue. He's just attacking my rook. So if I take the knight, he takes my rook. I take his bishop. And after he takes me, I take him with the check. He moves away. Uh, I can play a move like c3, but that will be a mistake. I can move the rook, but then I will never castle. So if I take, he will definitely take the rook. I will take his bishop. He will take. I will take with a check. The king will move. And then we have to trap his queen somehow. By knight to c4. But no, there's still a check here. We have to stop that. Hmm. We can move rook to b1. If he takes, this is not a good move because he can block. So rook to b1, he will take. And after I take, he will definitely see that at a certain point. How about knight to c4, allowing him to take this. So that we want to take this knight. And after he takes, I take with a check. And after this, this, uh, he moves away. Then I take the bishop, and then I castle. No. There is a problem. If I play rook to b1, he will take, and I think we stick to our plan of taking just here. But if we will not castle queenside, it's very... Very annoying, but we have to do it. We have to do it. If he takes me here, I'm not supposed to take because, again, the exact same plan. If he takes me here, I take with a check. He, the pawn takes, takes with the queen. He moves away, and then I castle. And after knight to f6, we just draw back. No, that will be, that will be horrendous. Oh, did he really thought that I'm just gonna castle and checkmate myself? If that was his plan, that is embarrassing. I want to play bishop to b2. The queen will need to get the hell out of here. And after I take with the knight, of course, because you want the bishop. The bishop is strong. He will take with the pawn and open up against my king. So I cannot castle. Yes, my that was a mistake. Knight d5 was a mistake. If he takes check, pawn takes, queen takes, king here. Uh, we cannot castle. That's the freaking problem. We cannot castle. And after knight to c4, attacking the queen, he can just take an after takes, takes. Uh, we take his bishop, that would be a start, and then he can take with the rook over the pawn, and then we can castle. I think um, my pawns are safe, but I just lost my advantage. Yeah. Wow. One move literally gives away all the advantage. But I do believe that the best move for him is to actually take the knight. Because if I take, there will be this, 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 some checks to win the pawn so I have to go back. Then his rooks will be very active. And if you take me here and I take with a check and after pawn takes and queen takes with a check and the king moves, uh, this will be very annoying to attack my rook. But then we will play like a bishop to b2 will be fine, I guess, spinning the knight to the queen. If he didn't take my knight, that's it. He lost his chance. Because I will definitely take his knight. And no matter what he takes with, 
We will just take this bishop with a check. Yes, we're opening up against our king, but after the king moves, we play a move like h3, and then we can cancel. I think we will be safe then. He took what? You sneak a little. Okay, so bishop to e2, China. Okay. The idea after I take here, he wants to take this knight. And after I take, he will take my queen after the king takes. He forced it. Wow. And I cannot take with the king, I just lose a piece. So I have to take. If the knight takes, pawn takes, I just... Bro, that was very bad. Very bad. Queen takes, uh, queen takes a2, there will be knight takes, and the pawn takes, queen takes, king takes. Uh, maybe there will be some checks. But I will move here, and any attack on my pawn, I can just defend it. But after queen takes a2, knight takes, pawn takes, and queen takes, and king takes, there will be this check, and after I go back, uh, very annoying. But very, very good find from my opponent. That's a very beautiful move. And knight takes is next. But hold on, there's actually some, something even better. Knight takes, pawn takes, and he just takes the pawn. Because he's threatening to get the rooks in. But he needs to take. It's not even like he needs. He's forced to take. Knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, king takes, knight here, king back. And we're fine maybe? We're not fine because the bishop can move and the knight is bent. Or maybe we just give the pawn. Knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, king takes, knight check. And we just go king to f1. And after he takes here, uh, I get the bishop active. Attack a pawn. Bro, bro, that's the most horrendous, stupid move I ever played in my life. Maybe if I played bishop to b2 first, then I played it. Maybe it could have been something better because the queen cannot go here. Yeah, that was very bad. Bro, why do I always do this? <sighs> okay, so he did not take the knight. Which to me seems very odd, but you know. I can play a bishop to b2. If he takes my queen, I take his queen. And if he takes me here, I take like this. He will attack me, but there will be some checks. So I have bishop to b2, but then will be this check. Come on, bro. So bishop to b2 and knight check, I can just go here. And his knight will be hanging. After he moves the knight, he loses the queen. And if you move the queen, he just loses the knight. So there is bishop to b2. And if he just take me, I can just take his queen. And if he just move the knight, he cannot move the knight back. He cannot attack me or do anything. So he needs to take the bishop back. I take with the king and try to play a rook here and king here castling. Uh, actually, this is the only thing that I'm thinking about. Uh, playing a queen here, he will just take and I cannot take. And if I play this, this is very tricky. So I believe the move is bishop to b2. We just have to make sure there are no checks. This check is very bad because, you know, king to d1, he loses the knight. And a bishop here, he plays as some kind of a check. I don't believe that's a good. And bishop here, he takes this knight or whatever. I just take this one. He takes and then I take, but then we'll be pinned. So bishop here, knight takes. And bishop takes. Oh, there will be some stuff here. Bro, just one move fucks everything. Bishop to b2. Knight takes. And I cannot take, I get checkmated. So bishop to b2, knight takes, bishop takes, a queen takes. I cannot even take. But hold on. Bishop here, and knight takes, and bishop takes, and queen takes, and knight here. He moves the queen, and then I can take the knight. Because any move like this, I can put the bishop here and castle. I think we just found a plan. Let's go bishop to b2. If he takes, I can just take. 
And I believe that is the worst option for him, knight takes queen. Because after all of this, my pawn is protected, the knight is very uh, good on an on outpost, and I can give a check and move back. And I will be castling. So I believe he needs to take the knight. Bishop takes, queen takes, knight here. Oh, there's a check. Oh, fuck, I did not see that. Oh my god, in the end there's a check. Knight takes, and uh, bishop takes, queen takes. Knight here, queen to b4, check. Stopping me from taking the knight. Oh my god. Bro, how much time I thought about this move? It doesn't say. That's the most horrendous move to open up lines. I mean, now what I'm looking at it, it just like seems very stupid. Wow. I even, you know, I'm expecting to 90 d4, 90 d5, the move that I played, to be considered a blunder by the engine. I can, like, a big ass blunder. Because I'm not losing a pawn. I'm actually losing the game. Because if he actually takes this knight, and bishop takes, queen takes, I cannot take. I'll lose my queen to rook to e8, and my queen will be pinned. So if knight takes, I cannot even take because I lose the game. So knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes, and knight to f3 maybe wins the pawn because I'm attacking the queen, but he has this annoying ash check because I did not castle. Bro. But very good pressure from my opponent. Very, very beautiful pressure and very beautiful find by my opponent. I did not think that he can actually take me and force it. That's wow. Crazy how you can go from a winning position to completely lost. Completely lost. Because he will be up a piece. And I don't know why he's taking too much time to play knight takes d5. Is he really not seeing it or am I just blind or something? Knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes, knight here there will be this check and after maybe the king he can move this knight. And he's not attacked anymore. Okay, what if he just takes? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. See, I don't have to. If knight takes, I don't have to take the knight. Knight takes. Queen to d3. The knight cannot move because this is pinned. So knight takes, queen here, there will be a move like this to defend. Hmm. But at least we're moving away out of this stuff. The only thing that I want, the only thing is just to take this damn knight before he takes me. All I want is to take this knight because... What is that? Noni. What? He took the pawn? So after queen takes, queen takes, knight takes, there will be some kind of pins on my knights. What if I just take here? He takes the bishop, take like this, he takes the knight take, and he will pin me. And I will lose the knight there because there's the move f5. So it is a plan, very nice. But my queen is still hanging. And any move will lose the... So I can play this and he cannot move the knight. Because he will lose his queen. This... He will take. Hmm. 
Hmm. I can move back now to, to e3. I can move to e3. If he takes my queen, I take his queen, he takes back, and I take the knight. Oh, but there's a check. Fuck. Knight here, knight takes, queen takes this. And when I think there will be this check on c3. What to do now? I cannot cancel. That will be a big ass blunder. Putting the queen on d3. I will lose this. But then I will take. He will pin me and I will take the other one. Is queen here a blunder or stuff like that? I'm not thinking. I'm not seeing anything. Queen takes, he will take, and after knight takes, he will pin me. So I won the piece. So look, I won a piece. And uh, yes, now he will win it back. So I just go back. He takes, and then I just castle. Hold on. Queen takes. Is there a knight check? That's horrendous because of this move. Hold on. Queen takes. Queen takes. Knight takes. Rook here or rook here. I get back with e3. Knight to e3, and then I just castle after he takes the knight. Bro. Queen takes, queen takes. Knight takes. Rook here, I take actually, and after some kind of a check, I just draw back. If I take and he takes, I can just, no, what, this? He takes, so wait, this, he takes, I take, he takes me here and I just go here, and there's no more pins. Hold on, hold on. Is this a blunder, or this is a win, or this is what? Takes, takes, pin me, I take the bishop, you give me a check and I draw back. I wasted too many time, which, you know, whatever happens, happens. But after he takes me and I take, his knight is still hanging. And if you want to pin me, I just take it. And you give me a check, you will not win the bishop because I can draw back. And any attack, uh, attack on my knight, I can just draw back to f4 is better. Because you don't want to go here and get pinned. I have no damn clue what the hell is going on. None. Will he play rook to e8? I take, he takes, I play knight here, he give me a check. I move, he takes, I take, and rook takes. At the beginning, it seems to me that, that I blundered and I'm losing, but now it seems to me that he missed something. What he missed, completely taking this knight and he will be 100% winning, because he would be up a piece. But this move, I don't understand. You want to take the queen, I take back. You pin me, I take your knight. You take my knight, I drop back. Right? Like if you take and I take, I'm still up a piece. You want to play this, I take you and up two pieces. And after you take my piece, I go back and I'm still up a piece. But there must be some kind of funky tactic right here because the position is really wide open. My king is not safe whatsoever. If he played rook he8 or rook de8, I think that's a better move because you still want the rook to be active on this one. So rook uh, h e8. If I take, he takes me with a check and I draw back with the knight. He plays some kind of a check. Ah, the knight. No, the knight will be safe because the bishop did not move yet. And I can move away and... Hold on. I really think he, this guy blundered or some kind of thing. Okay. So now we will be happily moving away out of any kind of pin from my queen. 
aware. See, I cannot take, of course. Uh, moving here, his queen is still hanging. So I play this move, uh, king to d1. Okay. Uh, he takes my queen. I take back. And there are no checks. But if the bishop moves, this knight will be pinned. Which is very, very freaking annoying. And if I play king to f1, okay. King to f1. He takes my queen and I take back. He moves the bishop somewhere and I can give some kind of a check and I can draw back and trade. King here takes, takes. He moves the bishop and I just take here. He takes me here, but I still want a piece. King here. I have no clue what's going on. If he takes me, I just take. He moves the bishop, I take here. He takes my knight, I'm still up a piece, and I will take this pawn, attack his rook. Maybe it's not a good move, because that will... What's going on now? The knight is still hanging. He will move the bishop. What is... I can just take, and after he takes, he was taken with a check. But I just move. Right? And if I take him here, uh, I, my knight will be pinned. Let's just take the knight. He will take it with a check. And I cannot go here because I will get pinned. So he will take me with a check. I cannot go back to defend because he will just take it. After this, I just go here. He will attack my knight and I will just draw back. I believe here it's a good move. Let's go here. And we're going to offer a rook trade. Uh, see, I told you he just made the blunder. Now, bishop here will be bad because of this move. So we just drop the knight here. Or we just play this move. He's just attacking my knight. Okay. So knight here. There will be no rooks in. That's for sure. Let's just go here. Preparing like a, a rook to d1. King to c2 and just trade everything. I still have 50 seconds, so I have to play very, very fast. Oh my god, he had the win with his hands, but he just... All he needed to do is to take the Dame Knight on d5. But he went for too many complications, which is really, really bizarre. Okay, so this is just attacking me. I can play here. If he wants to take, I can just take. Let's just go here. And also we're opening up for the rook. Very beautiful. And this is not a check because, oh my goodness. Can he sack? Rook check. No, I can just take here. Come on, bro. And even I can take here after this check, I can just move away. Forget it. So if he moved, if he played this, well, I just play rook to d1. You want to take me? I take you. We're just going to go for mass trades and... I'll be the one up a piece in the end. So if he played rook to d8, which I believe he's gonna play, and rook here, and after rook takes, rook takes, and uh, maybe bishop takes, I can just take like this. He just moved back. He's scared, boy. Why are you scared? Go here. Trade the rooks. Don't... Oh, that's a plan. Okay. Uh, let's just go here. Defend and put the other rook here. Oh, there's a check. You freaking banana. Okay, now I can move away. There are no more pins, but he can take me here, but I can just take. Now, let me just go here. We're going to play something like this, attacking the bishop and also cutting this fork. But he can just stay on the exact same. I'm not thinking. He will take a pawn, maybe. Something like that. Uh, the good thing he cannot take. Oh, now his rook is hanging. So if he takes here, I play this move. He gets the rook in. I take, he gives me a check and I can move back. So this is a move. If he played this, I can just take and after this check, I can move here. Freaking hell, man. What are you doing? Oh, I better move. I better move. Uh, I cannot. Yeah, I better move. I'd like to go here. If any attacks, I can just play this checkmate. But he can't play me. It's, I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure right now. I want to. I cannot even play this check. I'm just attacking the bishop. He goes here. Then what do I do? I take. 
he takes me with a check and I move here he attacks me with something bro this is very bad I, I, I again I had the win but here I just panicked bro time pressure is a very very annoying thing so if you play rook here, what can I actually do? Oh, bro, one move can fuck you up. Actually, I don't need to take the rook. Uh, rook to d8, checkmate. Wow. I blundered. He did not take advantage of that. He went for some crazy... I mean, you just made it, boy. And he did not take advantage of that. And now... Wow. That's crazy. I will not play again. I play one game per day. Thank you very much. 1945. The blunders are all there on the board waiting to be made. Well, I made a lot of them. <laughs> I definitely made a lot of them. I do believe I made like two blunders or maybe three. But maybe two. Let's check. Zero? You kidding me, boy? Okay, let's, we're gonna check the game review. Let's see. D4, England Gambit. And developing the knight was fine. Ah, uh, yes. So the move here, not E4, is to go bishop to G5. I always forget that because I cannot push the pawn. You can just take it. We just take here. I had to play H3. He played the best move. I went back. Developing was fine. And yes. Wow, that's that's horrendous. That was the great move he found. That was even worse because now he needed to take. Now it worked? Oh, it makes sense. I mean, there's no pieces attacking it. I don't know why he took the bishop. Yeah, that was very bad. See? I told you. I told you. The best move is to take this knight. Because I cannot take, I will get checkmated. And if knight takes, I cannot take this bishop because if the queen takes, I'll play knight to f3, attacking the queen. He can give me this check, and he saved his knight, and he just won a piece. But he missed it. He went for some kind of a, another plan where he wants it to take, and after queen takes, knight takes, he wants to pin me somehow. But he forgot that his knight will be attacked that was the best move I'm really happy taken was fine taken was fine uh, here we lost some advantage I mean it actually makes a lot of freaking sense to go king to c2 opening up for the rook going back played the rook in king c2 was fine playing the rook here was fine you play this check yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. Was he supposed to go rook to c2? No. Oh yeah, bishop to d6 also makes sense, but he just blundered. Checkmate into check here and checkmate. That was a terrific game by me. Wow. I have to learn this damn gambit, man. I know it sucks, but I don't know how to punish it. Okay. When they go in here with an eye, just put the bishop on g5 to attack the queen. To activate the bishop and also activate the knight and just... Yeah. e4, man. What the hell is that? But taken was still fine. I'm still up one point of, you know. But I lose all of the advantage. All of it because of bishop to a2, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. Because I didn't want him to take, and after takes, well, the knight will be here, and I have to go back, and some stuff will be on the same line, and... Okay. Yeah, that was a horrific move. B3. From completely drawish to completely lost. Because he has castles. And he needed to take. After knight takes, pawn takes, 
bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, king takes. He plays some kind of a check and after I move, he has a lot of space and my king is not safe. I still like... This move was very best for him, but yeah. Man. Knight takes e4. Why? Why would he take the pawn? I'm trying to get into my opponent's head, but I never understand. I cannot understand that. It is very simple to take this free knight. Why it's a free? Because I cannot take it. I lose the game. Checkmate. But he took the pawn and he's completely cooked after it. That is so weird. And yeah, that was a, some kind of a mistake. I had to go king to c2. Because that will help my rooks to get it more active, but... Here we definitely panicked a little bit because, you know, we're under time pressure. We defended, you know, correctly. We played this move and he just made a huge plunder. Yeah, I mean... Wh wh how he did not see that this could be a fork? He has more time than me. How could you not see it? And I actually was thinking about taking the rook, but then I find out, oh, it's checkmate. Wow. 1945, my highest peak ever. I'm just killing it, boy. Every single game I'm getting a lot of rating. But yeah, that was a very horrific opening by me. Very bad. 67. I mean, this is the lowest, the lowest accuracy I've ever got on my openings. I always get 90%, 92, because I know the theory. So after this video ends, I'm going to go and learn from the game review every single possible moves in the opening phase just to be prepared, prepared for the next time. The middle game was fine and we did not reach the end game. He just got checkmated in the middle game. Nice. 1945. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.